Gentlemen, we've been over the rules. Protect yourself at all times. On the fence. I'm on the fence. We don't need to talk about it. We, 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 we. Left hook from Yaounde came and landed on him, you know, so. Kings Court MMA. 2-9-0 review show. We had to get this in. <laughs> it's your boy Obasogi. Yes, it's your guy Mardi. Mardi Mardi, Mr. International, put in Pitbull, Mr. Worldwide, <laughs> giving him a one for his money. We're Yo, about. Pierre, hoping, hoping you're all enjoying the PFL content behind the scenes, fighter interviews. You know, Mardi was there when they were they were still unboxing sound equipment. Um, <laughs> honestly, jump jump on the channel, give us a like, show us some love. PFL, yes. thank you so much for the love and support. Absolutely no, opening doors for us. Much appreciated. And all the fighters being so forthcoming and welcoming us into their community because we're still we're still babies in this game. But Indeed. PFL showing us so much love. So we just got to show the love back. Opening That's statement. It. Big up, big up. Why? No, no. Two nine zero oh, International Fight Week twenty twenty three. Also, happy anniversary to King's Court MMA. Two yeah, years baby. in the game. Two <laughs> years in the game. We still here, and we're going from strength to strength. So, yo, That's thank it. you all for watching and showing us the love. Right, getting straight into it. That featherweight championship fight. Hey. Hey. Now what? The way I, 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 I've, I've started viewing all the fights again. Um, yeah. Literally, okay. Alex does what he wants. Yeah. He, he <laughs> was playing with his food. That's and it. Then, the, if you recall, there was a headbutt, head, head, headbutt collision. And then I was like, no, 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 no. Then he remembered the risks in this fight game. And he went, no, nah, if I play around, you know, F around and find out. <laughs> <laughs> but around, I might find out. Exactly. I don't want to find out. Just put your ear to bed. Wow. What are we saying? What are we saying, Marty? Yeah, it was crazy. And I think maybe the first two rounds, I thought there, there were there were volks, you know? Um, yeah, quite easily. But yeah, yeah, obviously, he was dangerous. Dangerous from the, from the um, those elbows were obviously cut, ball cut. Oh, yeah, see that cut. Oof. Yeah, got him, got was, him nice, got him nice, nasty. But exactly as you said, the third round after that headbutt, actually, yeah, yeah, started ha- having a bit of combos as well. Yeah. So through some combos, in a vault was like, <laughs> nah. Oh, not oh, today. No, oh, oh, you think? Oh, you think? Because we're standing up, I'm allowing <laughs> you back into this. I said, and he he called it. He said, "Yo, I can beat him anywhere. He's a dangerous opponent, but I'm gonna play him at his own game." And yeah. mate. T- when I when we're talking about fire IQ, this guy's IQ is off the chain. Yeah, yeah, yeah he's game, and I, I think I've called it in the in the preview show where yeah, he's got yeah, he's got to keep it long effectively. Um, mm-hmm. really, really target those kicks, kicks uses length and just you know the, as in his leg length and just keep keep Volk as far away as possible, and then yeah. start throwing in those. Fantastic, crazy, unpredictable combos that we know. Yeah, yeah, is that's what he's all about. But Alex, yeah. exactly what also what we called, which is get on his chest, stay yeah, close. Exactly. We said he closed his distance like no other person. You think you think he's because he's disabled because of that height height deficit that you can just play long and then you'll you'll get away. You know, it's um night night Vienna. Nah, nah, no. not with this guy. Doesn't happen like that. Honestly, Volk. IQ, A1 IQ. Uh, yeah. Everything he did in that in that fight was literally perfect. Literally perfect. Like it Absolutely. was. Just, like I said, I genuinely feel he was playing with his food. He could have ended it at any point. Maybe from let the round one go. Let round mm-hmm. one like surpass. But I went from as soon as he got into round two, it was it was danger territory. It was like if Volk wanted to yeah. switch it on and finish you, the fact that, that. it was the fact that it was some you know. Landed the hook, saw the opportunity, and didn't just go in with like you know you know the arsenal. Picked him up, threw him down. Oh. Side control straight away. Oh. <laughs> That's the guy's IQ. techie. Yeah, That's it's IQ. IQ. It's IQ. That's IQ. Oh. Like yeah, I, I, I think I'm running out of superlatives. Honestly, it's not even about 
I think I'm going to ban that saying, well, you know, don't sleep on Volk. That's making out like he's some underdog and that he's just yeah. somebody that he yeah. underrates. You just call it's... for the respect. Respect just needs to be given when just... you're talking about Volk. If Honestly. you talk about his name in a sentence, there better be respect added to that. That's the it. greats. The greats. That's the great. The greats. That's Alexander it. the Great. That's it. That that's it. it. I, I, it's super, like I said, I'm running out of like yeah, love like you love yeah, yeah, yeah. Love his journey. Yeah. Love everything again as a man, as a fighter. Just yeah, it's there's there's the cream and there's the rest and and you know it, one man one man band in that cream and it's all about Alex the Great. Like <laughs> you know. <laughs> That's it. That's it. What's next for Volk? What's next for the great? This is it. Yeah, I don't I think, think it's confirmed, but it better be by now that he's pound for pound number one. I know your guy, Johnny Johnny Bones Jones and all the rest of it. I get it. But Volk, Ooh. it's got to be number one. I saw something. I've I think I've he seen might it on some be. rankings, but I know there's different organ like ESPN have their rankings and blah, blah, blah has their rankings. But I've seen it on, I can't remember what was the outlet who owned the rankings, but I did see a set of rankings yesterday where he was back at number one. I don't know if it's universal yet, but yeah, come on. I, I think I did see something similar, and I was just like, I mean, yeah, I understand it. Like, yeah, st- stamp there. But in terms of what's next, the, and, and in answer to your question, you saw him face off outside of the ring with with Taporia. Mm. Um, does Taporia get to have to fight another time? For me, I don't think he should be fighting Max next unless Volk gets his rematch with Islam, then they would need to do something. Then it would have, to, then, be, it have to be an interim again. Well, maybe you don't. Maybe you just make it number one contender, Max versus okay. Max versus yeah, um, Ilya. Um, but I think... We yeah, want but to back to your blood. point, you don't want anyone fighting Max because you know Max just takes the... will derail that train and then... Yeah. The great hasn't got any fresh fresh meat because Max has already beat, beat it, already marinated it sauteed it seasoned it <laughs> chopped it up <laughs> salt <laughs> <laughs> that's it it's true that's the risk that's the risk it all, i think it all comes down to timing because i think islam wants to fight in was it october, october but islam's already got a... in abu dhabi nothing's confirmed and charlie olives has come out and said he's not re- he won't be ready for october yeah well october was going to be looking like it's going to be some sick fights in the middle east did you hear the news that just dropped about two hours ago? Oh, are we talking um, exhibition fight? Are we talking fake fight? Oh, um, <laughs> Tyson Fury in Ghana. <laughs> that was also in October. I think I don't know. I think that's from Dubai, though, not Abu Dhabi. Um, okay. But anyway, yeah, going back to the point. Yeah, breaking news, try. breaking news, breaking news. Things <laughs> 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 called MMA, breaking news. <laughs> <laughs> that's it. But yeah, it all comes down to timing. But it has to be Taporia next, I, I think, think. I think. I think they've teed it up quite nicely. I think Volk. Yeah. I think Volk sees that as light work and easy money. He's even yeah. he's even said that on on Ariel's show. Um, said yeah, I'll, I'll take him. I, I want to punish him just for the way he's talking. Um, be, nothing else. I'm like, yeah, I respect true. that. Um, it will be interesting. Obviously, there were, you know, I think there was a lot of fallout. Not, 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 not fallout, but there was, you know, Volk alluded to the fact that he's going to need surgery. Um, Ooh. yes, exactly. He's, he said he's going. He needs. I think it's his right elbow. He said he can't actually bend it or hyperextend it at all. Um, he yeah. went through this camp with. I think the, he said at the last two camps, like on cortisone, like pain, pain shots and you know needle injections to go through the pain. So he's like now. He said apparently it's not a big surgery, but he, even he said it on the air will show you. You never know if they open it up, they might they might find other stuff which will obviously elongate his recovery. His obviously mm. will is to come back and fight again this year. But yeah. you know, he, you know, he needs surgery, and he, who knows with, with, with that? Obviously, uh, I think Dana was well off the back of of two ninety. Was like, you know, obviously the journalists were all asking Dana what's next. Dana's like, look, Volk is now in that position. Even a, a, for Dana to say, I was like, wow, Volk can Volk does what he wants. Whatever Volk wants, he gets. Like he's now one of the guys. He's one of the guys. There's very That's few it. guys like that. Let's say Izzy a is a guy. Let's say yeah. Izzy is the guy. Let's say John Jones is the guy. Volk is yeah. now in the club. I, that's the club. And Connor, mm-hmm. obviously, to an extent. And Connor, yeah. To an extent. But that's 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 your guys there. Come on. Yeah. That's, and I'm, I'm, I'm sure the same was for Amanda Nunes as well. Um, and probably yeah, Shevchenko before, before she left. There's certain champions where they pretty much can dictate 
you know, the UFC is not telling them what to do. They're, they'll, Izzy, obviously, Izzy will get to, get, get to that. Um, mm. But, you know, they're picking who they're fighting next. That's so, um, yeah, and, and, and Volk, I think Volk was asked a question again by area, like, well, if Charlie Oli just can't make it, um, in you know, in Abu Dhabi against Islam, then is that not your 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 opportunity to just go up, go back up to one five five for for that rematch? But you know, I think to our knowledge, it's common knowledge that they were both told that both go back to you know Islam, you need to defend again. Volk, you need to defend again. Then we look at doing yeah. it again, probably beginning of next year. You know, so um, yeah, it's going to be interesting. I, I, effectively, I think Volk hasn't got an answer because he he kind of his answer was all around i need to you know i to my knowledge it's minor surgery to just need to open it up and scrape scrape whatever shouldn't be there out but yeah you, again you never know they could find they could find a little bit more more you know serious implications off the back of his injury so yeah that's i think that's gonna, that's gonna god knows what's gonna happen now with uh, you know if if Char- charlie Oliver just said nah not me um mm. Islam technically hasn't got a confirmed opponent. And let's be honest, Dustin versus um, Gaethje, they're both going to end up in the hospital after that fight anyway. Let's be honest. <laughs> that's, in the words of yourself, that's a just bleed fight. 100%, man. There's no Definitely. one coming out of that going quick turnarounds. <laughs> Braces, I'll be ready, stitches, I'll be ready all of that. October. They're going <laughs> hand in hand to the hospital to go off the back of that. <laughs> So um yeah, who knows what's next, really? That's it. That's it. I think it's it's a good time, I think, for featherweights. There are people coming up, and we know that there's one in, in Ilya. So yeah, let's watch the space, definitely. Yeah, uh, I think Ilya. I think I think it it's gonna be interesting. Ilya's talking like he's like obviously he's just smashed through his opponents. Ilya yeah. still he's obviously got that confidence, he's unbeaten, he's young, exactly. he's up and coming. He is he is a savage, but what like I've just covered. That the IQ of Volk um, yeah. and what he does and how he does it, it's even like you know what he's going to do, but you can't stop him. And it's what I was, exactly. you know, we were talking about in the in the in the preview show where he still very much got that strength of when he was a big rugby player, but it's just it's still there. It's, it's just, just there, the muscle mass. It's just it's just bricks. That's where it. it might be the bricks might have been separated by layers of fat. He's got all the fat out. He's kept <laughs> it up. And I said, brick on brick on brick. The bricks aren't even, they don't even have the mortar in between. They're just yeah, that's it. Just cement. Pa, 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 pa. <laughs> well, personally, I, personally, at Featherweight, I don't see anyone beating him. Yeah. But I'm putting it out there now. No one's beating, no one's beating Volk. No one. I like to pour, yeah. And I like to, yeah, yeah, but. Man. Yeah, looking down the list, we're like, hmm, there's, there's nobody that could. It's if so if it folk just wants to sleep or he just misses it like like the Amanda, you know, one where she just, the motivation wasn't really there and then yeah. she messed up a little bit. But it's yeah, a long, it's a long day for that February division and long live Alexander the Great. Indeed, indeed. And then off to uh, did we in the picks we all had Volk. I'm guessing. Yeah, yeah, we are Volk. Yeah, okay, no, no massive shots here, but in in this next fight, obviously we had the the co-main, the flyweights. Wow, well, we we said these these fights were going to be elite versus elite. This exactly. was this was this was good. We this spoil. Was, we were Brandon Moreno versus Pantoja. Pantoja got to put some respect on that guy's name because that guy, yeah. my gosh, the heavy hands, like. At first, I thought, whoa, 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 it's round one. Like, pace yeah. yourself. Like, you're, you're trying to chop man's hand, head off That's like it. in round one. And it was just, it was just ferocious. <laughs> it was ferocious. And, um, but oh, Brandon, that, that, that jab, oh, beautiful. The boxing, the job. The, honestly, easy. from start to finish, whenever he could, like, those, the combinations were absolutely sweet from Brandon. I'm just like, yes. Brandon's like, why always him? Like Balotelli, <laughs> Balotelli says, why always me? He's literally going to spend now the next two years fighting this Pantoja guy. Yeah, it's just going to go <laughs> back and forth, back and forth. <laughs> because who doesn't want to see that again? <laughs> yeah, that was a that was such a sick fight. Like, yeah, exactly. You're saying the, the the technical ability of these guys at the highest level, it was ridiculous. Back and forth, it was a it was a hard one to judge. I thought. 
It was. It, it, was, it was. But I would say, as as much as I, you know, again, some certain fighters just know how to win according to what the judges are looking for. I yeah. didn't particularly like the 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 holding and grabbing by Pantoja. But at the end of the day, mm. this is mixed martial arts. This isn't kickboxing. Yeah. This isn't um, taekwondo. You know, yeah. this isn't boxing. So effectively, he, you know, it's not cheating. And I just yeah. it, it, it grated me because. I, I felt when there was the space for them to operate, I thought that's when Brandon was flourishing. When there was the, yeah. a little bit of space, was the, the jabs, I said the jab just was getting flicked out and it was painting up Pantoja's face like a, like a piece of art, like a bloody piece of art. <laughs> just bleed. It was landing every time. The, yeah. the accuracy was beautiful. Obviously, that it wasn't the crazy power, that, it, but you don't need power when you have accuracy and speed. Exactly. That's where he was beating him. Exactly. That's it. Beautiful, beautiful. But whenever that gap was closed, I have to give Pantoja his credit because, like, yeah. obviously he's at an elite level jiu-jitsu, but he, like, a lot of the time you don't see jiu-jitsu artists having that, almost that Volk, Volk like, drive-through power to drive someone through the mat in the first place to get those yeah. tape mats. And obviously that's the American top team influence. You can see where he's he's driving mm-hmm. through the mat and he's yeah, he's yeah. got that wrestling base, and then as mm-hmm. soon as you're like an inch from from the mat, he's already thinking jujitsu moves, jujitsu moves. Where where can I get those threats? And you could see that, and I was like, wow, credit to you because I I didn't see see that happening. I don't think we did. Right, um, no, not the guy's no. story, I like you know, I probably could do do, do just an episode in each fight really because it was it was that deep. But I told your story is a, a crazy one. Um, yeah, you know, two fights or what? Two fights ago. I believe his wife was cleaning and he was an Uber Eats driver. It wasn't until he got his $50,000 bonus two fights ago where, you know, he stopped driving Uber Eats and his wife could quit the cleaning job. Bro, two fights fights ago and now he's champion of the world. That's mad. That's mad. I'm never going hungry again, telling you. Telling you. And did you see the speech? Um... What he said, I was I like, didn't, I didn't see the speech, but oh, I, 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 just, I read the um like you, the captions of he thought. Dad, do you see me now? Are you proud of me now? Dad walked out on him and the family a long time ago. I think, yeah, when he was a teenager or even younger. And he, yeah. I think he went into he went into more levels about that on aerial show, but pff, yeah, I, I I'm excited to see what's next. Ne- what, well, mm. what's next has got to be a rematch. Let's be has honest. Has to be a rematch. Has, has to be. Has, deserves, has yeah. to be. Has to be. Although you have to feel for Brandon because mate, every time he fights this guy, he loses. Exactly. That's three but losses. That's three losses. Three. But again, we said it before in the build up that actually it could be when we talk about protect Pantoja's chances, it could be like a Alex Pereira Izzy, where actually there's just one guy that you you can't be. The you know. Man. The boogeyman, yeah, and this, mm-hmm. and these, all of these free fights have been in MMA. So, but I think Brandon will get inspiration definitely. Brandon's, he, I think he already posted something like, "Oh, my life is like a, a movie or Netflix." Yeah. yeah, yeah. Just the last Netflix. few years has been like a movie. <laughs> yeah. And so he's ble- he sees him, himself as blessed, which is the right way to see him, see himself. Because at the end of the day, he's also been through the ringer in terms of being, you know having to come up through what tough and I think was he even cut from the UFC for a period of time as well potentially I think twice after Tom tough lost. he was cut and then he was cut out yeah again after the Pantoja oh, lost, off the it's it's a it's a beautiful it's a beautiful tale for this the tapestry and in it it's a ta- tap their, exactly. their, their, their life's tapestry is just entwined exactly that exactly oh. and we're only up to probably about midway <laughs> I'm, I'm I'm interested to see what comes on between these Honestly. two because Put these fights on again. Yeah. Personally, don't want to see anything else but that again. But like, yeah. yeah, absolutely fantastic. And then, um, yeah, we'll get to the middleweights. Woo. Again, that was a. I don't think any of us will back in that. <laughs> well, our guy Bobby Knuckles <laughs> versus Dricus Duplessis. DDP. It's me. DDP. It's DDP. Wow. Wow. I got. I got to eat my words. I've got to eat my words because, you know, I did rate Drickus, but I thought Rob, you know, Robert was just that, you know, the the level of a different class, really and truly. I thought it wasn't, and Robert showed that actually in there there was signs that he he was doing well. Mm. But Drickus, he's just a, he's actually a dog. He's just a, a mauler. He's just he's big as well. He's bigger than I thought he would be. 
He's he, big. Big dude. He, he made Robert look a bit a bit small. He ragdolled Robert. Let's be honest. There there yeah. were moments when, when he was taking him down with the judo throws. Yeah, and just, <laughs> just, <laughs> come here, son. Come here, son. <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's mad. And then taking him down and holding him down in that position and 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 threatening the dash choke. I was like, oh my gosh. Yeah. I was Imagine. like, no, no. I was. I I thought he was. I was. Yeah. I was in shock. Um. Again, talking about IQ, I thought he showed, showed such high levels of IQ in that fight um, against Robert. And I think the game plan was excellently executed. That's when you know yeah. someone has been told, given a script, given a game plan. and they, Because let's be honest, we've, we weren't expecting that because we've never seen him do that before. Yeah, he's always, exactly. like you said, he shows the dog, he shows the determination, he looks gassed before the end of round one. Everyone, everything looks a bit ragged, but when it's a shootout and a firefight, he always comes out on top. That's it. But that's just that's traditionally it. what we're used to. Yeah. I think I, I feel like I, I, sh- I feel like I did enough to almost pick him in the build up because I was talking about, remember, I was talking about the cardio and the, the surgery and all the rest of it. And, you yeah, know, I was going to sure. lean that, I, I was so close to leaning that way. And I thought, nah, it's Bobby Knuckles. <laughs> <This> yeah. <laughs> What we're talking about start, here, like, yeah. And I did start selling the um the Africa dream. I was saying, like, I'm obviously going Bobby Knuckles, but I want I want this. I want Africa versus Africa. I want this in Africa. I want this in even in South Africa. I want the I want the Ale Bumbaye, Ale Bumbaye. I want all the I want all the smoke for this fight. And um talking about smoke. Um <laughs> right. <laughs> I, we're, we're a small platform I just want to say so I don't want us to get deplatformed or demonetized or whatever be anything <laughs> by YouTube before we even get get up and going so exactly I'm gonna I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna repeat some words but I'm going to give you the we're gonna put up well, our editor in chief Mr Marty is gonna put up the translation that I'm book it, putting up. So therefore, <laughs> and we'll put it even in the bio and everything. So someone can get some, some people can get a bit of a history lesson. So I don't know. And then there's even a meme. I don't know if there's, there's this little uh, I'm going to be really quick. There's this little um little white kid in America and he's doing like a spelling bee in America. And the whoever the adjudicator says, oh, spell. And the word he's told to spell is negus. And the kid's like, Neg- uh, it's hilarious. I'll send it to you. Spell negus. <laughs> Megus and it's a white and everyone's like looking at him like yeah if you mispronounce that wrong it will come out like (laughs) it's it will come out and then if you spell it the other way it will come out so the little kid's thinking Megus 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 and he's repeating himself Megus Megus and then he goes N E G U S Megus right Megus is a noun derived from the Ethiopian Semitic roots meaning terrain. The title has subsequently been used to translate the word king or emperor in biblical and other literature. I'm aware of this only because of Nas. Nas used to rap about Negus. And when he okay. used Negus, that was how that is what he's referring to. So basically it's royalty. It's a king, it's emperor. Right. So this is how I'm going to go down the script of Izzy comes into the ring now. One, I'm not keen about that because you're the champion. So I would have liked, I would have liked, you're the champion. Like for me, the challenger needs to be coming into your space and like making that. You're the champion. So you're almost like, almost coming down a level to go, you come and fight me. Yeah, exactly. Now he's, he's, now he's shouting, Negus, Negus this, Negus that, Negus <laughs> this, Negus that, Negus that. I lost count after four Negus. Um, I'm not going to lie. I saw the clip that you showed me, which said that yeah. it was all premeditated. Because he was talking he knew, about it before. He yeah. knew exactly what he was going to say <laughs> and all the rest of it. I just really, even as a, let's, let's be honest, as a black man, I felt it was, a, I felt it was bad. It was a bad look. Um, yeah. And it was almost like he was trying to set a trap where, and it was almost like, and I brought up that little white boy from America where he has, he's surrounded by the thought of that word, but he can't say it. Yeah, exactly. So it's almost like it's exactly the same as Drickus, where even if he said, I'm not, but I'm not your negus, 
or mm-hmm. you're not my negus, or why are you calling me a negus? As soon as he says the word, it's out there in the universe. And everyone said, he's yeah. used the word, he's he's weaponized it, he's all the rest of it. Entrapment, entrapment. <laughs> so the fact that he didn't even, like, utilise it in his combat, yeah. I'm, giving him, I'm giving him the class points. Yeah. I'm giving him 100% class points. Um, and even watching other channels who are covering this, they're, 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 they're just even BT, um, Charles Son, and everyone. Like, this narrative needs to drop very quickly because the media aren't going to be able to hype up this fight if it's surrounded around that word because nobody wants to say it. Mm-hmm. So, the, like, so it just needs to drop. And, and if this is going to be the build up, it's not. It's not going to be. A, it's not going to be pleasant. It's not going to be a nice build up. I no. get Dana. Dana wants nothing to do with it. Dana doesn't even care. Yeah. Dana's like, look, whatever sells the fight. This is the fight business. I don't really care. That's yeah. Uncle Dana. Cool. I think for the media outlets, they 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 just said, oh, it was um yeah, Easy came in um and it got a bit offensive and then they just move on. So, you know, we're talking about how these clips, for example, get cut for for, for promo. They can't cut that in the promo. For the for the fight, can they? Oh yeah, because there's so much thing they they know they they wouldn't even want to do it with bleeping it out. They it's it's making the promotion promotional part of the fight quite uncomfortable for so many people that they're gonna have to just be like pretend that never happened. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Oh yeah, we're not gonna see it in any countdowns. We're not gonna see it in any embedded. Unless you think maybe they'll even bleep it, or they won't even dare do that. I don't think they would. I don't even think I wouldn't want them to bleep it. I just think I wouldn't want them to use it. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. Actually, they'll get some backlash if they do. And I'm, I'm dis, and I'm, I'm, I'm putting it out there. I'm disappointed in the use of the word, and I get why. He, well, I understand. I don't understand, but I've heard his rationale as, as to why he was going to use it in that way. But it was overkill for me. Um, and yeah, it just was. I just don't think it was required. Like, and at the end of the day, whether you, whether he wants to admit or not, he's a role model to many, many young people around the world. Yeah different races, black, white, yellow, green, aliens, whatever. And mm-hmm. a lot of people, you know, if, uh, why do you want to make yourself enemy number one? I know it might be a good marketing tactic to sell because if everybody doesn't want to see you win. Everybody's going to pay to see you lose, like, aka mm-hmm. Mayweather. But for me, it's like, I, mean, I, I want to see what his mum and dad say to him, honestly. I, I, <laughs> I don't think his mum and dad are educated. I don't think they're going to be too happy at the uses of that word. So it's going to be interesting to see if he can even, if he's going to be put into check or if he's going to still carry on with that narrative because I didn't really feel comfortable with it. I get, mm. I get, I did, we we both don't, didn't like the whole, what Drickus did in terms of saying you didn't go to Africa and all the rest of it and like I'm glad you you brought up that clips where yes the, all the African champions have gone back to Africa have gone back to the village yeah taking the belt That's and true, showing not respect the village yeah and taking it back so yeah Drickus was wrong there but you know where where some sometimes when people go low our narrative should be got to go high so I'm disappointed I'm just putting it out there Very disappointed. <laughs> so. Um, Izzy Adesanya, if you're if you see this, you know I love you, but man, you, you, you're moving a bit sus. You're moving a bit sus there <laughs> for me, for my liking. Okay, that's that's of a soggy speaking there. You know, that's not Mardi speaking there. Just for all you people out there, I mean, I I understand. I get exactly what you're saying. And for me, yeah, I, he didn't need to use that word, and I you know I would have preferred him not to use that. But Izzy, Izzy. We we're talking about that, you know, where somebody's gone down low, we should go, you know, up high. Well, this is Izzy. Izzy's petty MF number one. Izzy, the one that five years ago, Pereira's son took the mick out of him in a in a ring. He came out five years later, did the same thing to a little a little boy, basically what he's 12, 13 or something like that. This is Izzy. And Izzy, yeah, he's a role model, but people either people Izzy's like Marmite to people. And I've been found in this, as we talked about in the pre in the pre preview on socials people either love him or they hate him i don't think there's actually in between i was talking to hadi when, in, when we talk to pfl hadi loves Pereira. hadi loves robert waker he he doesn't like is he and i checked him i checked him. i was like yo you watch yourself there boy <laughs> no all love all of Hadi. but this is is he like and I, I get it i get it but i think so you, do you not think in five ten years time he's going to look back and go when he's got children, man, I, I regretted that moment. Oh, yeah, I, I think so. I think there'll be a lot of stuff that he's done that he'll, he'll regret. But yeah, 
and I don't I don't agree with his response. But again, for me, I'm just like that's easy. Easy will always be easy. We're not going to see Francis Ngannou do that. We're not going to see Kamara Osman do that because they're they've got, they're a different personality. They're completely different guys. Now, just going on to to Drickers, like to his thing, the things that it's it, it it's really it's touched a nerve. Basically, the whole idea and ideology of what he said. Can we get into that shortly, briefly? For sure, right for sure. Go? It's fair. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because. And, and there's been pay, pay, things pasted all over in terms of, OK, the racial connotations, all of this. Let's put that to one side, because mm-hmm. even even though I, I do think there's, a, there's an issue there, but I'll put it to one side at the moment in time. The, the fundamental thing that I think that Drick has made a mistake by saying is that he's the real African champion because he was born in Africa. He grew up in Africa mm-hmm. and he fights trains out of Africa currently. Yeah. That's the that's the fundam and these other guys are not. So he's using that saying I'm a real Africa because I do that yeah. because I've done this. The the fundamental error that he's made in that is he's 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 talking about a whole continent that is built up of what thirty two countries or I, 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 I don't I, I, you don't even know. Well, like fifty two countries, bro. <laughs> fifty two countries again, again my bad. But like there's so many countries in 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 Africa with so many. Africa, and each <laughs> but like all of these countries they they all have their own their own issues they are they're all they've all got their own gdp they've all got their own everything like and he's coming from the largest the largest physical landmass in in Africa, which is South Africa, which again we know the history there, and we know how that's actually for the economics, the economical structure of South Africa is probably one of the most advanced in all of Africa. And he's comparing it to Nigeria, who again, let's not feel sorry for Nigeria because we are big boys, we are the biggest boys in Africa, sort of thing in terms of exactly a Cameroon and and yeah Nigeria as well basically, but they each have got their own economic standards and whatnot so i'm sorry for you to say for you to say that i've i've done this you you can say that because there's opportunities there's things that you've grown up oh, yeah. that have more privileges yes. and stuff like that yes. in terms of where you've grown up you can can't say that just because you've grown up in one country that's like somebody from the uk or england saying to someone from maybe like bosnia maybe 20 years ago oh i'm a real european because i've grown up in it's a fast that's the fundamental thing of it facts no, I don't. I, I, I 100% agree with you mm. because, and we can we can speak. Let's speak openly. Mm-hmm. Our parents are classic examples of that. Our mm-hmm. own parents left the motherland, and we are we were brought up in the UK in Europe because yeah. of, of the lack of cho- opportunities in our mother country. So we, we were born into privilege, mm-hmm. and it's the same with Izzy. And we all, everyone knows about Ngano's journey. And it was the same with Komaru. Their parents, exactly. their families had to leave. So even for Drickers to bring that up, you're making, you're, this is some, this is generational issues. Like th- exactly. this is a lot. This yeah. is a lot. It's a lot. And you're making out like these, these guys were fully grown at the level they are now in Africa, then left. Yeah. That's different. If they'd done exactly. that, you could potentially potentially go oh but you're a sellout as soon as you made some money you left africa and you never looked back and when you were going up when you were coming up your come up was in africa africa made you the people africa as a continent made you you know you and then you moved with money with your privilege Mm -hmm. it's not like that hasn't worked like that so that's that's the only way he would have got me you and everyone on side who is educated to that level to go uh actually drickers is not he's not wrong there mm. it's different it's different it it's different it Their families left let's say in the 80s the 90s my family left what eight, a year before i was born here family left mm-hmm. um because of op- lack of opportunity because of corruption because of issues because of hered- whatever it might may yeah. be e- economic civil civil <laughs> civil wars and again, if you want to get into ge- geopolitics, unfortunately, a lot of this, if you go back, 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 is due to the colonization, is due to the land being raped, the resources being raped, South, South Africa being still the classic example of that. Let's be honest, apartheid ended in our generation. I remember when Nelson Mandela left. So <laughs> if you're going to bring that stuff up, I remember being aged 10 
when Nelson Mandela was let out of prison. So mad. he this should is never, ever have uttered those words. I agree. And and that's when and that's where the racial connotations come into it. Yeah. Because because of that specific read and preach, brother, literally, and he's he's younger. He's th- is he thirty two or thirty one. He's the similar age to me, so he grew up in the nineties. He was born in the nineties, so again, maybe he doesn't have the recollection of that. But there's a certain resource because of that. There was certain resources that all of those years stayed within a certain group of people in South Africa. That's all I'm saying. I'm just going to leave it at that. But anyway, yeah, yeah. No, it's 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 a lot. So no. <laughs> I still, but I also don't agree with uh, with with Izzy. I think this I disagree, yeah. disagree with both of them. Effectively, yeah. and <laughs> Izzy definitely should not have <laughs> utilized that negus language. Yes, yeah. <laughs> I will never exactly. say the er version. I never say it in real life. I don't even say it when it's in a rap song. I hate. I yeah. don't like the word. I know where it comes from. I know how it originates. You know, mm-hmm. if you even want to do your history, look at the name Nigeria. That was yeah. Nigeria and where that comes from and who exactly. came up with that name and all the rest of it. Honestly, people, there's a, there's a lot, there's a lot of, there's a lot, that, that, and that's why the build up to this fight could be very a very uncomfortable one if it stays mm-hmm. on this narrative, which is what I would rather not see. But we are also in the fight business, and that might be what is required for <laughs> Italy to make a lot of money on a fight that he feels people might not be that interested in because Drick has just basically come out of nowhere. Yeah, so it's it's that's true. Yeah, that's true. He wants the money to fall, but I'm excited. I'm here for it, and that's what. Oh no! Even in the, in, I wanted this fight. This is the one yeah, I wanted. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> but I still I don't want it in Australia, and that's that's where yeah. it's going to be interesting because that's a nine week turnaround. Oh yeah. I don't want it there. But, I don't want it in Sydney, though. But he's 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 fresh. Drickers fresh. Drickers didn't get hurt from. Is, well. is it fair? Still, you, you don't know. You don't. He's a big. We've already said he's a big guy. So we don't know what the weight cut might have done to him. Just like you said, in terms of the privileges that certain fighters have, is he can do he he can do what he wants. And best believe, if the champ is saying you get a title shot, you better get ready in nine weeks. Drickers better get his training boots on now. One week rest, get back into camp. True, but Drickers could also, Drickers could all, could also turn around and do exactly what Charles Olive said. As and basically, not even Charles Charlie Olive hasn't even said he's injured or anything. He's just said I won't be ready. Yeah. Imagine. Drickers could also say that. Um, and Izzy will ring up Sean Strickland, and Strickland will be like, "Yeah, I will do it." <laughs> Simple. You don't want to see that, but you know that will sell. Do. That will be. <laughs> it wouldn't be a great fight. It'll be a one-sided battering in my eyes. But the build-up yeah. would be hilarious. Tasty. <laughs> oh gosh. Um, yeah, that was that, that. That that that's us getting into the geopolitical political yeah. side. But kudos to Drickus. Honestly, shocked, shocked, shocked the world, shocked the world. world. Absolute D- ragdoll. D- um, Robert Whitaker. What's next for Whitaker? Whitaker, I've, I've seen him come out with a statement and just say, look, um, Drickus came to fight. I unfortunately just wasn't feeling great that night. He just said he was. He just had an off night, effectively. Um, mm. Said he wants to fight again at, before the end of this year. Give me whoever I need to to get back up there. Um, Fair play. Yeah, it was. It was. It was fair, yeah. When I think the more I think about it, the more I think damn that was very one sided. Um, and let's just talk about that finishing sequence when it was a jab. It was a jab that stunned Bobby Knuckles. The eyes yeah. and my, as he's jabbed, he's got straight jab. Robert was throwing a hook at the time. The jab obviously the straight jab lands always before the hook. And then Dickinson's already got his arms up because he's seen the, the the hook coming. So he's like, yeah. "What's Whitaker's falling back?" Dickinson's is doing that. If you see the replay, Dickinson's is like. And then he's yeah, like, what? Exactly. Or oh, oh, he's down. And, and then he goes <laughs> in for the kill. And you know what part of the kill I love? The, the fact that it was, for him, again, very calculated. Yeah. Timed all his shots perfectly. And my yeah. gosh, the body shot. Did you see the body shot oh, when that ripped him? Oh, just... oh. I was um, like, if you could put a target on where the perfect place to land the power body shot is, it would be there. It was exactly. beautiful. And that's yeah, the one that taken. drops Bobby down. to the, oh. And then he finished it from there. Fantastic what, sequence. So. What a guy. What a Look, guy. We're, we're always fair. We're not biased here. We're going to be fair. Yeah. DDP. My fair gosh. play to you, lad. Fantastic. Fair play and to yet, you. His nose is truly fixed. He's <laughs> never looked that good. He's <laughs> never looked that good. But, yo, this is, we're going to have part two, everyone. This is King's Court MMA. Part yes. one, 290 review show. Um, what an event. Look out for part two. Again, thank you for the support. Subscribe, like, yes. comment, share. I'm your guy, Obasogi. I'm your guy, Mardi. Bob went out.
Peace. Peace. All right, gentlemen, we've been over the rules. Protect yourself at all times. On the fence. I'm on the fence. We don't need to We don't need to Left hook from Yaounde came and landed on him, you know, so.